Good morning. Guess what day it is? It's Christmas jumper day! I am obsessed with my Christmas jumper. I got it last year. I think it's the best thing in the world, obviously, because I am the gremlin. The gremlin. And obviously, Morgan's also the gremlin. Oh, I'm going to work! Am I going to work? Oh, a baby. A baby. Eagle. Love you. Imagine if it just wasn't dark all the time. That'd be really nice. Take my merry ship, Miss Banner. <laughs> What's wrong? You blend in with my coat. I love that boy. I had a really nice day at work today. It was boudoir shoots all day, which was, which is always my favourite. <laughs> Hi. You happy in the Christmas tree box? Yeah. Is it nice? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Are you probably going to tip it over? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Let's turn on the Christmas tree. She'll put the Christmas lights on. Oh, you knocked the bubble off. God, I can't fucking see. Ah. Yay, we have light. And we have more light. Oh no, they're flashing. Ah, you knocked the bubble off. So I'll give you a proper tour of my Christmas tree. So we have popcorn, lollipop, some chips, obviously, the Christmas pickle, handsome, the, I think it's a shrimp, might be lobster, not sure, the sprout wreath, which has little faces on. Oh no, the lights are flashing. Is that the right one? Do you like it? Do you like the tree? <laughs> I think so. Well, this is our tree topper. It's got bells. <laughs> it's from Primark. Do you like it, Moggy? We've got a little pink sparkly camera. Oh, this is the Christmas sloth. Oh no, they're flashing again. It's only a candy cane. How do I stop it from doing this? Nope, still flashing. But I love it. I absolutely love it. I fucking love a multicolored lights, tacky, bauble Christmas tree. They are the best things in the entire world. I should probably take my curtain scarf and shoes off. I'm fucking knackered. It's 25 past eight. Um, so my mum sent me loads of old pictures again and they're all from like 2005 which is stressing me out because the ones I'm particularly looking for so I used to be a competitive ballroom and line dancer and I've seen and still got all of the pictures from when I was like under the age of 10 Are you eating the tree? <laughs> you can't yeah What are you doing? <laughs> yes, I've still got all the pictures from when I'm like Un under the age of a teenager and the ones that I want to find are from between being like <laughs> like 10, 14, 15 because that's around when I stopped um, when I was in like my mid-teens and I've got like no pictures which is upsetting because I want to find some but then my nana found some the other day and my god my arms are so long for my body <laughs> And they were particularly long for my body when I was very thin, when I was a dancer, and I looked like Slenderman in the pictures, and it's hilarious. Um, but yeah, so they're all from like 2005, which is annoying, but still really cute. Um, but yeah, my day at work was mint. We took some uh, festive pictures of the staff, which was really nice, and then we did all of the boudoir shoots, which I loved. They were... 
all great and really happy and really grateful and feel really good about themselves, which is why I love doing boudoir shoots in the first place. Like, it, honestly, the confidence it gives people and the it just it just makes them so happy. And the majority of people that come in, it's well, it's ninety nine percent women. They've never had nice pictures taken of themselves. Like a lot of them go, I've not had pictures like this since my wedding day, or I've never done something like this. Never, I don't have any nice pictures of myself. He's causing chaos over there. So it's, it's honestly the most like rewarding thing. <laughs> what? What? What are you showing at? I've only gone and found some more Christmas decorations that we haven't put up yet. But the little glass lightning bolts that are full of sequins. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Mogwai. With your tail. In other news, a local police officer has been, I think, fired for using a racial slur against a fellow police officer and Hull Live have reported on it. We all know Hull Live's a piece of shit. Um, and all the comments are fucking awful. So, and I, I try to stay away from the comment section in Hull Daily Mail, but it's very hard. Well, it's Hull Live now. Um, so I comment on it saying, oh, let me find the actual thing. Oh, well done, Dafty. What a gathering of the gammons this comment section is, Jesus. And someone replied to me saying, you're no better than the copper. Gammon is also a racist slur against white people. Hope your employer sees it. So I put, you can't be racist against white people, you absolute divvy. Should have called her a Karen probably, because she'd have probably accused me of being racist for that as well. And also I'm fucking self-employed, so that's funny. And someone else has just replied saying, how is Gammon racist? It has never been used to attack white people, only racist white people. So if you're offended by the time, I've got some news for you. Yes, girl. Oh, he's one of my friends. Thank you, Laura. <laughs> Fucking excellent. So, I'm going to hang these up on the tree. How cute are they? I think they're only like a pound each from Asda. Maybe a pound. Yeah, one pound from Asda. Um, I'm going to have spaghetti and plant balls for my tea because I bought plant balls from Ikea. And I was going to make them last night, but by the time we just, basically, Chanel got a chest of drawers from Ikea. So we built them last night. And when we finished, so we finished the unit and then we finished the drawers. But just after we'd finished the drawers, we realised that um, we'd put the unit together backwards so that the sides were on the wrong side. So the left one was where the right one should have been and the right one was where the left one should have been. Um, so we basically both just had a little tantrum, gave up, and we are gonna have to finish it at some point. Oh, Jesus Christ, my wife. <laughs> Every time I say that, Jesus Christ, I wanna go, Jesus Christ, Fenton. Mwah. He's gonna see me fucking with the tree and then he's gonna wanna play with it. This is my issue. Um. So yeah, by the time we'd finished doing that, and like we wanted tea and we're hungry. Mogwai! <laughs> <laughs> Bless you! Oi, you've pulled it off! <laughs> you little bugger! It's for the tree! Are you going to leave these decorations alone? You've been really good today and you were really good last night. Sir. Don't eat the lights! Behave. Behave. Beep, 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 beep. So yeah, by the time we'd fucking had enough of that and it was time to have tea, we were both too tired to fuck around actually cooking anything. So I'm gonna have it tonight. I'm really excited. I hope they're nice. I've never had the um, IKEA plant balls before, nor the meatballs because I have actually been a vegetarian my whole life. Um, but yeah, might as well fucking cook now. It's it's a half past eight. I'm starving.
one last thing before I start cooking. So, my friends have clearly seen this Facebook comment section. So, after me saying you can't be racist against white people, you absolute divvy, some random Karen has replied saying, you can't be that stupid. I hope that latest comment was sarcasm. If not, you've made yourself look a right div. So I replied saying, Jesus Christ, you've got to be kidding. Because who the fuck thinks you can be racist against white people? Oh, another one of my friends has replied to them saying, Gammon is not a racist slayer, you fucking honey glazed nonce. <laughs> oh, Sam. And he just messaged me saying, my head is melted from the stupidity. Oh, if only it was my job to in to educate the dumbasses of Hull. <laughs> about two years the only person that has bleached my hair is Hannah and I am <laughs> enlisting <coughs> I just proved it in <coughs> I have enlisted Chanel and they're helping me bleach my hair because my roots have gotten to the point where I genuinely just can't stand it anymore and my roots are already white so thankfully I'm just gonna have to wash it off like god this looks awful mmm <laughs> sexy lady but thankfully I can just wash it off after like 10 minutes hair update it's fucking bright <laughs> and yellow but it's all right the pink is going on we hope if I can figure out which is the right developer so, this, this is the pink, and we've mixed it with this one, instead of this one, I think that's for the orange. So I'm hoping that's going to be okay, and if it's not, we do have the Bleach London back up. Should be fine. Right. Fingers crossed, this is actually going to work. I'm not optimistic. This should be better. Uh -huh. I look like a pink smurf. We did have to use the Bleach London. And there's a hole in my hair dyed love. E.T. phone home. We've been playing fetch. Come on, bring it back. Come on. Come on. Yes. Oh. Ready? Ready? Go. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, go! Come on, bring it back! Thank you! Ready? One, two, three! Yeah! And again! Michael Wallace. 
Oh, we're dropping it over there now, are we? Do you want to do it again? Do you want to do it again? <laughs> oh, this is the best one I've ever had in my life. Come here. Oh, no, that's too far away. I'm not coming to get it from there. You have to bring it to me. <laughs> I'll just do pack off. <laughs> it's fucking about 10 different colours. It is 10 past 2 in the morning. But at least I don't have roots anymore. Root be gone. See you tomorrow.